Greetings from Florida. Today we're working on a Honda Odyssey 1999 through 2004. This is the right front. You've got a cover there and then a Phillips screw right below that. If you need these, oh, we've got a small plastic cover, screw cover on that. And that might break off, by the way, especially if they're old. You can always glue it back on. It's not vital. Screw there, screw there. If you need these, you can find them on my website, up and down mainstreet.com, up and down mainstreet.com. If you mention code tube, T U B E, this is five bucks off. Take off the speaker cover. You don't have to take off the speaker if you don't want to. You can just take off the three Phillips screws that are reinforcing the door panel. Be careful taking off the clip that goes to the rod. They can break quite easily, so just be gentle. Unscrew that, pull the panel out. I also took off the side view mirror cover, which was broken, by the way, which happens a lot on these. Do your best to take it off carefully, but if it breaks, you can glue it back on. And you're replacing the regulator motor assembly. Let's take that out of the way. I'm going to remove the plastic just for your vision. You may not... I don't think I took it all the way off. I think I just tucked it in. Because it was so... It was so stuck there. Now... If the regulator won't go up, you're welcome to cut it with a pair of um, linesman's pliers. Not any of the electrical connections, but the actual metal wires. I think that's what I'm doing right now. I think I, yeah, I did. I put in a pair of pliers and cut it just so you could pull a window up. 10 millimeter bolts. Let's take them off. That holds the motor to the, that holds the regulator to the glass. And then you can put the glass up and, uh, Put a suction cup on it to hold it in place. You can remove the glass if you want to. You certainly don't have to. After that, we're going to take out the bolts all around. There's seven 10 millimeter bolts that hold the regulator and motor to the door panel. I left a couple of the bolts in just so I can see where they go on the new regulator. Honda and Acura, the regulators come with the motor. You don't have to have an option of getting them separately. It's going to come as an assembly. And like I said, there's about, uh, I think, three of the 10 millimeter bolts can be put on in advance, and that allows you to line them up. That allows you to hook them in there to hold it in place. If you find this video helpful, please like the video, and that will help other people who are searching for the same video as you to find it on YouTube. If you have any questions, ask them right here on YouTube. I'll be glad to answer them for you. If you're in Tampa Bay and you'd like us to do this for you, give me a call. I'll be happy to. Or you could just mention it on the page and I'll get back to you. If you're curious, B-O-S-H, B-O-S-C-H, Bosch Tools. I've had really good luck with them over the years. We've used everything, but they've been the most reliable, um, indestructible, best customer service. Highly recommend Bosch. And I think here I lost a 10 millimeter bolt. Unfortunately, I've got plenty of them with me, but I think I couldn't find the one that came out of the door. I'm looking, I'm looking back to the car I go to get another one. Well, we have a break in the action again, up and down Main Street. Go ahead and check it out and you can find the part you need. 
they're not terribly expensive. Plug that in. Plug that in so we can line everything up. I'm going to turn the key on. Make sure the window lock's not on on the other side. Looks like everything's good there. And then you're going to get it to the level of those two holes. Let the glass down a little bit. And as I mentioned before, every three months or so, lightly spray some WD-40 in the up and down channels. Careful not to strip the bolts right here. You don't want to strip them going into those glass clips. It's really a challenge to, to deal with that after that. But looks like I lined that up properly. Everything's good there. Look at the beautiful weather. I did this in, I think, January. You should all move down to Florida. No state income tax. It's a great state to live, work. Although housing has gotten really expensive over the last four or five years. Now don't forget that bracket, you'll want to put that back on. Let's grab the door panel. Yeah, I think I may have tucked the wiring harness in. Now, since I didn't take the speaker out, I'm going to go ahead and hook it right back up. You can remove the speaker if you want. Feel free. It's three screws, but it's just as easy just to leave it there. Remember the wiring harness up on the top there that goes to your lock knob. And before you put that screw in, put that back on in case the screw falls in so you can grab it. Otherwise it falls into the door. So we're going to plug that in. And then grab a, a thin flathead screwdriver and go ahead and put it on the, there you go. And I think the rest of you get under control. Uh, ask questions if you have any. Like the video if it's been helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Have a good week.